it's day two, um, and we're back out here on the lake bed. As you can see, the storm has passed, and it looks like we're going to have a pretty nice day today. Yeah, um, the lake bed's a little bit wet, but there's not much actual water, and it looks like it's pretty safe to drive on. So we're going to see what we can find. So, car's right there. There's this berm of rocks here, and as you can see, we didn't get too far. Uh, what do we got here? So we've got a little one uh, similar to some of the ones that we were finding yesterday. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of crust on the edge, um, and the other sides are broken. So, didn't take very long to find one today. Um, gonna put that back, get photos and GPS coordinates, and then move on to the next berm and see what else we can find today. It sounds like Jason just found one, so let's go over and take a look. Did you find one? Yeah, it's uh, hard. So I was going through looking for anything dark or different, right? You're not going to see it from there. It's that little dark thing in that crack. But if you poke it with a magnet, it sticks strongly. So I think that little guy is one. I don't know how big it is either, it's buried. Hopefully it's bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, all right guys, well let's pop this thing up and uh, make sure it's a meteorite, let's hope. Oh, it's, it's bigger. Wait, 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 it's bigger than I thought. It's buried in there. Ah, it's, that's, that's hopefully a meteorite. I see rust spots, so I assume it's one. Um, yeah, we're good. They're rust spots. Woo, meteorite. <laughs> Woo, just that tiny corner was sticking out of the ground. It's crazy. Huh, lucky. We'll get this washed off for some photos. That, that'll help. <laughs> All right, hey guys. So we just washed off that last thing. It, was, it looked like a little chip sticking out of the ground. Fried it up and it's some rough secondary fusion crust there. The other sides are smooth. There's one chip there. But that's, that's an almost complete stone covered in fusion crust. You can see the rust spots. Um, that's pretty. It's cool. <laughs> so lucky.
Hey everyone, uh, it's been a pretty long day, sun's going down. Uh, we flagged a few finds that we just made in the last hour. Um, we really wanted to try to hunt as much as possible, so we're going to get these photos done as quickly as we can. Alright, so Jason made three more finds today. It's getting pretty late, sun is setting, so we're going to show you those now. Ooh. That's pretty nice. I don't know if you can see any chondrules, but yeah, there's a big one. Maybe reflecting. Yeah. Pretty rock. Hey everyone, here's the next find. Um, it's this little guy here. As you can see, quite strongly magnetic. That's another high iron one. But it looks like a pretty complete stone. There's one chip here. Can't tell what the bottom's like yet. But, uh, I'll get you some close-ups and we'll, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, let's do some photos. <laughs> Alright guys, let's flip this one over. Yeah, pretty complete. Flat though. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. All right, and as the sun is setting, here is our last find of the day. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> um. So you can see it looks like another piece of the H5 that we've been finding. A little bit of flat fusion crust inside there and then the rest is just broken. Uh, but really magnetic. Oh, it's so thin. Here's everything we found today. Um, it looks like pieces of a few different meteorites. We'd have to cut and analyze them to be sure, but they all look like ordinary chondrites, so the most common types of meteorites. We have one more day in the field here, so hopefully we'll find a few more. Thanks for watching, until next time.